An electrolyte panel, also known as the serum electrolyte test, is a blood test that measures levels of the body's main electrolytes, sodium, which helps control the amount of fluid in the body. It also helps your nerves and muscles work properly, blood pressure and pH balance, some nutrients transport into the cells. Chloride, which also helps control the amount of fluid in the body, acid-base balance of the body. Potassium also helps to nerve impulse transmission, acid-base balance, major intracellular action and water electrolytes balance. Electrolytes measuring method in laboratory, direct method, indirect method, enzymatic method like method used to assay the electrolytes level in the body fluids. Direct and indirect method are the main two method. Indirect iron selective electrodes is more commonly used in high throughput fully automated analyzes in the laboratory. Direct iron selective electrodes is usually available at the point of care instruments and some low throughput biochemistry analyzes. Direct iron selective electrode method. Patient sample is brought into direct contact with the electrode surface and the activity of the sodium, potassium and chlorides are measured in the plasma water of the serum sample. Indirect iron selective electrodes. Diluting the patient's serum with a buffer solution according to the particular ratio then contact with membrane of the electrodes. Then calculates the electrolyte concentration in the diluted sample by assuming that the original sample had a plasma water concentration of 93%. Indirect iron selective electrodes use this calculation because electrolytes are distributed only in the aqueous phase of the serum. Remaining 7% is considered as lipid protein particles of the serum. Some diseases condition can raise protein and lipid concentrations in the blood, causing hyperproteinemia and hyperlipidemia, respectively. Examples, diabetes, liver disorders, kidney disorders and alcoholism. These conditions do not impact direct iron selective electrodes, but indirect iron selective electrodes results depend on the content of solids in a sample because of the dilution step. When the volume of plasma solids increases this can lead to falsely low indirect iron selective electrodes values for serum electrolytes, especially sodium, a phenomenon known as pseudohyponatremia. Knowing the difference between these two methods is important because there are situations leading to conflicting results between direct and indirect iron selective electrodes. Especially with sodium and inappropriate therapeutic decisions could be taken if the clinician is not aware of this difference. Medical laboratory technologists need to educate clinicians about these scenarios in which these two technologies are used and the potential for discrepancies arising between them. Need to discourage clinicians from using results from these two methods interchangeably, particularly in the setting of critical care monitoring. Better to use POCT instruments to monitor the critical care patients. If you are interested in my video creation, like this video. Feel free to give your comment. Please subscribe us on YouTube.